Hello, welcome to OLK TV News Update. I am Hadiza Galadima. Thanks for being with us. And now, the news headlines. Less privilege strives for food as Ramadan marks day four. INEX speaks on attack on Mahmoud Yakubu's home. EFCC arrests 80 POS vendors for selling Naira. Oshun PDP asks Oyetola APC to accept defeat. Congratulate Adeliki. Atiku accused Tinibu of hypocrisy on election conduct, condemns voters' intimidation in Lagos states. Sarap wants INEC to investigate governor's deputies over election violence or face court suits. Welcome back from the break and now the news in full. Just four days after the commencement of the holy month of Ramadan, the less privileged in some areas of the FCT finds it difficult to get food from the usual places they receive arms, food and drinks. And this has led in the increase of number of people trooping to the national mosques in the central area of Abuja. Our correspondent Fatima has more reports on this. I am right now in front of the National Central Mosque in Central Area, Abuja, where the less privileged come to seek arms, that is food and drinks, to enable them to have their iftar, so that they will be able to break their fast. But this time around, they seem to have increased in numbers, due to the reason being that the places they normally go and get provided with these items, that is closer to where they live, no longer seem to be able to have enough to provide them this Ramadan. I am Fatima Amini reporting Oweleke TV News Update. INEX speaks on the attack on Mahmoud Yakubu's home. The possession being purportedly attacked by some youths in a video clip spreading on social media does not belong to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC Chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu. INEC has spoken on the attack on Mahmoud Yakubu's purported home. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has denied that the property, the property that was attacked in Bauchi State belongs to the chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu. The commission made this known in a proclamation signed by Yakubu's chief press secretary, Rotimi Oyekomi, on, on Saturday. Oyekomi urged that his principal does not own any property and that the rumors are part of the desperate smear campaign. The proclamation by the secretary said the property being reported attacked by some youth in a video clip circulating on the social media does not belong to the independent national electoral commission INEC chairman professor mahmoud yakubu the INEC chairman does not own any property in question in either bauchi or anywhere else in the world the narrative is indeed the latest in the series of desperate smear campaign efforts by mischief makers therefore the masses should disregard it. We'll be going on a short break right now. Please stay with us. Welcome back from the break and thanks for being with us. No fewer than 80 points of sales peers agents suspected to be buying and selling money to members of the public with higher interest has been arrested by the operatives of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, in Ondo State. Office holders of the commission carried out the exercise in Akure, the state capital. 
it was alleged that some PS agents had been buying cash from banks and they charged their customers exorbitantly while selling the money to them. Some PS attendants who got the information beforehand reportedly abandoned their stance and flee, but this in turn became a thing of the joy for the people. Our correspondent has the full story. PMCC came one day, they had arrested some POX people who were hustling for money, who were, you know, who, who were withdrawing money from the bank and selling for people and uh, the charges. But to me, it is not really matter for them to be arrested then because there was no cash. There was no cash for people to use. That is the only penalty for people to make use of money. It is not really fair for you. It's as a result of it's as, as, it's as a result of the charges from the banks. Another reason is that you know those PLS are uh, this thing. They use, when they go to bank for them to get cash to give to people, they have to pay some bankers, some uh, bank, uh, some staffs in the banks before they get, they are able to get that uh, money for them to use in their POS uh, this thing. Um, you know, generally the issue was all over. And, um, you know, I can't really blame the POS people too. And I can't blame, yeah, I can't blame anybody. I just say it's, it's just how we saw the country. It's just how the country is. You know, it's cash, cash is something that we need always. And um, the POS people bought a solution, but it has to do with excess charges. So they bought a solution to the problem. You know, it's all about providing solution. So they bought the problem. They, they didn't force anybody to take the money. I am Fatima reporting for Oweleke TV News Update. Now the update on Oshun State Governorship Election. The People's Democratic Party PDP Oshun State urged all Progressive Congress APC and its candidates in the 2022 governorship election. Alhaji Boyega Oyetwala to abide by the decision of the Court of Appeal that reaffirmed the election of Governor Ademola Adeliki. Rather than considering another appeal, PDP advised Oshun APC and Oyetola to conceal the hatchet, congratulate Adeleke and unite hand with his government in the state to move Oshun State forward. The PDP chairman of Oshun State, Akindele, said if Oyetola and his supporters were rejected by the people, they should go to ECOWAS Court or the International Crimes Court, ICC, or furthermore, go to the Supreme Court. Adeleke and the Oshun State PDP will still remain victorious. He added that if truly Oyetola loves Ocean State, he should by now have understood the people have chosen who they want to govern them. It is only vindictive elements that would find it difficult to congratulate an eventual victor in an elective grade since 2022. And we'll be going on a short break right now. We'll be right back. Please stay with us. Welcome back from the break and thanks for staying with us. The presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar, criticized the president-elect Bola Ahmed Tinubu over the remark about the 2023 elections. Tinubu had in a proclamation claimed that his media aide, Frank Shaibu, accused all progressive Congress APC flag bearer of hypocrisy. Tinubu had earlier on Tuesday reprimanded the violence reported in the 2023 general elections and call for recovery and reconciliation in the country. He said he was saddened by the reported isolated infractions during the election and its aftermath in some states and strongly condemns it. Also, the report of Asen after the announcement of governorship election results in one state that did not represent who we truly are, peace-loving people. The fiscal and verbal aggression committed are unacceptable and unethical to democratic ethos. However, in his response, Atiku argued that the president-elect's latest proclamation was laced with hypocrisy and falsehood. The Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project, SERAF, has urged Professor Mahmoud Yaqub, chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to 
urgently designate an independent council to investigate allegations of electoral violence and other electoral crimes, including bribery against any state governor and their deputies during the completed general election. The ward secretary, Mr. Vengaina Doyom, explained that Senator Ayu was suspended for alleged anti-party activities. Benue PDP discontinued Ayu with immediate effect from March 26, 2023. The PDP national chairman, Dr. Iyocha Ayu, according to the secretary, the decision to suspend the national chairman was reached after the world leadership reviewed his conduct at the end of the just concluded general election. Two Nollywood stars die within 24 hours. The Nollywood actor David Osage, known for playing the role of a king in most movies, died as confirmed by his associate actor Ngozi Eze. Proclaiming David Osage was not sick but slept and did not rise up the following day. Meanwhile, the 33 year old actress Akingbe Misola Dokas Angela had been fighting ovarian cysts for a while now. According to one of her associates, who conveyed the information from Easter Block Niger, said, she was diagnosed in 2021 and had to experience chemotherapy in Dubai and had to experience chemotherapy in Dubai for months. She later returned to Nigeria and resumed her acting career after she was affirmed cancer free. However, she began complaining of feeling ill in recent months and was taken to the hospital where her hair degenerated and eventually passed away. Well, that's all the story on Oweleke TV news update. I am Hadiza Galadima. Do follow our social media handles displayed on your screen for inquiries and other placements. Do the best you can. Be the best you can. I am Hadiza Galadima. See you next time.